This is my friend, and she wants a pink keyboard. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna build her exactly what she wants, a pink keyboard. So I'll be using the Echo CS Rose Red switches. These switches are sold at a low price of 25 cents per switch and can be bought in boxes of 45 at around 30 bucks. I assume the top is polycarbonate and the housing is nylon. They have 43 mg progressive springs and are 3 pin plate mounted switches. Now, I can't tell if it's because these switches are slightly more expensive than the vintage whites or if it's because I'm just more skilled now with echo switches. But this rose red seems significantly easier to open than the vintage whites. But lubing? Lubing is as slow and painful a process as ever. For this build, I'll be using this custom TKL mechanical keyboard kit with RGB lights, Type-C connection, as well as Bluetooth capabilities. This board can be purchased on Shopee for $82. Uh, I'll be leaving the link in the description below in case you want to get it for yourself. This board comes with foam between the plate and PCB, as well as foam under the PCB, so there won't be any need to dismantle it. However, since I am building a pink keyboard, I will require to dismantle the top and bottom housing of the keyboard to spray paint it to my liking. Surprisingly, the board only has one screw holding the top and bottom together, which is because there are clips on the sides holding them together, which took me, took me a while to get open. It wasn't an easy process, but eventually I managed to get it open. Now, I taped the top of the plate so as to protect the plate and the PCB from the spray paint and started spray painting the board. Now, I know my spray painting technique here was wrong, but I went to do some research and after correcting my technique, and doing tons and tons of coats later and a few matte finish sprays i can finally remove the tape and put back put the top and bottom back together and then screw it back in if you ignore the scuffed sides and the scuffed legs i think i did a pretty good job at spray painting for the first time in my life Now, it was simply time to install the looped Echo Rose Rates onto the board and the stabilizers too, which I bandaid modded. Oh, and these are pink pudding PBT keycaps that I got off AliExpress. Well, you know, to match the pink team we are going for.
So at first it sounded as expected Until it didn't So yeah, the, the stabilizers that came with the board was horrendous It created ticking noises It's almost like I was using a blue cherry switch which was clicky as hell, but except it wasn't supposed to sound like that. The switch sounded fine, but the stabilizers were ticking like crazy, so I had to get replacement ones online. So that means I had to wait another three days before I can complete this build. So I got myself some Duroc V2 plate mount steps from PantheonKeys.com. You can check them out if you want, as I'll be leaving their link in the description below. So I actually bought a set of three and it got delivered to me in this nice little box uh, within three days. I then went on to loop the steps and installed it onto the board. So yeah, a pink keyboard, built from scratch. So what do you think of this keyboard? Personally, I am really proud of it and I hope my friend likes it. So that is all from me today. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon again.